Hi, everybody. Uh, we've got the wrong one here. Let's, uh, okay, wait. Oops, sorry, small technical difficulty. Now we're here. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Subpixel. Hi. We're a website. We've had worse intros than this, if you can believe it. A, I mean, we guess we are a website. Uh, <laughs> Will, how's it going, buddy? It's going well. I, I shaved my beard again. Um, because it looked good last time, but as mm -hmm. Karen pointed out, I got a haircut too. So she said, "Till I grow my hair out, I look like a pedophile." So okay. I'm wearing a hat. If you could, um, while we talk to Jimmy, if you could turn your volume up a little bit, uh, you're still you're still like three four dB too low. Uh, Jimmy, how's it going, buddy? Good. And how are you? Um, you know, I've had a pretty good 2021. Now that I've been thinking about it over the last couple of days. Like, I've watched a couple movies, I've put together some model kits, I got to visit the Capitol building, been spending a lot of time with the cats. Just a really productive 2021 so far. Yeah, you stopped the steal. <laughs> I did stop cetera, the steal. <laughs> I stopped the steal. Um, so tonight's... You grew a beard to disguise yourself. <laughs> tonight's fiasco playset is called Stop the Steal. Uh, wait, I... <laughs> Yeah. Actually, Speaking of fiascos. You know what? Honestly, it's very easy to make a fiasco playset. I should make one that takes place <laughs> during the Capitol riots. No. Anyways. <laughs> you shouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> the other thing it's I definitely nothing but funny. Well, the other thing I almost did was, you know the picture of um Chip Gardner from Fixer Upper and he's carrying the podium and smiling directly into the camera? Um, in the in the capital, you know what I'm talking about, Jimmy. You look a little puzzled. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that that wasn't actually Chip. <laughs> no, it wasn't. But if you're an HGTV okay. fan, you get the joke because yeah. it looks exactly yeah, like him. Looks like him. Yeah. Anyways, he's very happy. Uh, somebody within hours made a 3D model of that podium, and I was very tempted to print it out, paint it, pose it with one of my Gumpla models, and take a picture of it in the exact same pose. I was like, eh, probably not worth the effort. But this fiasco idea. Now that's, that's, now that's gold. That's a gold star right there. Um, folks, it's time for some fiasco. God, do I love this game. I have completely... How many fiascos have we done? Should we try and count them down? No. I think this is five. Five sounds about right. Is that right? Um, I'm going to go down a limb here. I think this is my favorite tabletop RPG system. <sighs> What do you guys wow. think? What's your opinion? I think it's like 23 or 24 for me. Yeah. It's... <laughs> I mean, you stole my joke. I was going to say top 100. Jimmy, <laughs> um, yeah. I need an honest answer from you. How many D&D &D campaigns are you currently in right now? Only two. <laughs> Only two. Um, Ooh, come on. Come on. I always find it funny that, like, no offense, but I feel like I'm nerdier than you, but you are always in more yeah, D&D than... That. You're always in more D&D &D than I am. Yeah, because it's like, even though you're nerdier than me, I have more friends than Yes, you. And, oh. I, and I am yeah. more insufferable than you, which took considerable mm. effort, but I got See, there. Uh, I, I argue <laughs> that uh, Ian and I are jack-of-all-trades nerds, while people who appear far nerdier are people who are focused into one thing. Yeah. Ah, like I only have one pork tattoo, which is it's not a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think I saw it somewhere distinguishing distinguishing between nerds and geeks uh -huh. and that a geek is somebody who actually like really focuses on something and goes super deep. Yeah. On something and the nerd is more like, you know, jack of all trades ish. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I think that was Thoreau wrote about that. It was. Yeah. At Walden. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyways, should we play some fiasco? Folks. No, I'm good. Tonight, we're going to be playing. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> we're playing uh, this playset called Horse Fever. It's by Ariel Agostino, Flavio Moratorini, Lorenzo Silvio, and Lorenzo Tucci Sorrentino. Um, they basically wrote this collaborative fiasco playset. It's all about horse gambling, the racetrack, and Horseburg. So let me read this intro here. Horseburg, 
is a foul city, gray like the dust you breathe in the boss's racetrack. One breath is enough to fill your lungs with corruption, greed, and filthy lies. Before nightfall, all kinds of ne'er-do-wells crowd the bleachers, cursing at the horses they spent all their savings on. But when the sun vanishes behind the city hall, you can see the rotten heart of this town. A grim fog rises to hide the elusive shady types, scheming to decide the winning horse for tomorrow. O'Brien, the Irishman, passes bribes on Pier 7. And down at old Daniel's pub, they never stop whispering. Once, I had the luck of being invited to the bridge table of Inspector Recherche. Rech Recherche? What do you, how do you think you guys pronounce that? Recherche. Uh, Recherche. <laughs> of Inspector Recherche. <laughs> uh, it's always best to mind your own business. Grasp information here and there and use it to bet heavily tomorrow. See, in this city, luck won't be enough to make you filthy rich. There's people out there who'd sell their own mothers for a reliable tip. Some say you just need to know the right people, but then the right people will want favors in return. Many of these geniuses are down at the docks wearing fashionable cement shoes. Myself, I'm for natural remedies. I'll just stick to a worn-out nag named Boisson nobody will bet a dime on, and make my money by grabbing a Mexican jalapeno and sticking it up the right place at the right time. Does that work? I'm going to Google that right now. Race <laughs> horse jalapeno. It does. It's a performance enhancing drug. Um, there's a lot of horse race horses named jalapeno. Jalapeno pepper thoroughbred. No, jalapeno pepper. Get the name. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna s stuff jalapeno. What? Rectum. I'm trying to think of what word they would use. Rectum. Daniel killed. <laughs> yeah. Can you just go to Google Image Search and yeah. share your screen? Yeah. Can you uh, type in pork butt? You know how sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Google will like return a result and they like put ellipses in it so you just get like snippets of sentences. This one yeah. just just has a sentence that goes abundance of large sized jalapenos with thick walls and large cavities perfect for stuffing. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Hi Harkronium. You know exactly what you walked into. Folks, it's time. Four. Oh, I forgot to say movie night. So so again, this is Fiasco. It's a collaborative tabletop role playing game. Basically, we're going to spend the next 60 to 90 minutes, each of us assuming a character of our own, as well as any side characters we need to, to collaboratively tell a story or a movie scene by scene. So to give you an idea of what this playset, what types of movie this playset is gearing us towards, they have a nice movie night section and they give an example, a day at the races, a fine mess, dead heat. Uh, National Velvet, On the Nose, Secretariat, Seabiscuit, Some Like It Hot, The Sting. I recognize about four of those movies. Um, I, I like how you conveniently skipped too. over the one you didn't know how to pronounce. <laughs> I feel like I've already been racist enough in this stream. I got a... It's like, you know, you watch the news at six and they're like, big news story. They give you a little tease of it, but then they wait until the end to unload it. That's like me and my... Yeah. Anyways. They're not um, racist up front. No. Later on. They no. pull it. That's right. Bury the lead. Let's play some fiasco, folks. Um, so <laughs> I Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna add names real quick to this where the cameras are, just so you guys can tell who is where. Because I, I realize Helpful. too late every time I do this that I can see the order, but you guys can't. Okay. So basically we're gonna roll these dice. And um, we're going to see what happens. It's funny, I while I'm rolling these dice, do you guys have any affinity for this playset? Any horse racing stories? Do you like horse racing gambling movies? Anything like that? No. Yeah, uh, There's a horse race track. Send mine, you're about it. Got it. I feel like I've been, I've been watching The Sopranos a lot lately. And a lot of it is like, not a lot of it, but a significant part is like gambling. And then there's like a horse racing racetrack subplot. So I feel like I'm. Do they go to the Meadowlands? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's what I, they, I drive they, past. They just mentioned it in the episode I was watching. They're like, I was at the Meadowlands. Been there several times. That's where uh, FanDuel has their offices. Oh, uh, see, I feel like. <laughs> Meadowlands? Yeah, it's, I guess it's, it's a, a town, racetrack. Town. Uh,. Will, that's why you should watch it because I feel like you would really appreciate how authentic I, it is. I drive past the, I drive past Bada Bing every week. Okay, and also all that organized crime you do. Wait, you yeah. drive past Bada Bing every single week? Dang, is it on the way to uh, Karen's? 
Yeah. Really? Did we drive it's, past it? Uh, probably. Yeah. It's called Satin what Dolls. Is... So Bada Bing is. Uh, have you seen the Sopranos, Jimmy? I saw twenty minutes of the pilot. Okay. Well, actually, it might have been there. It's basically, it's the strip club, which is like one of the two or three main offices that Tony Soprano has. So, like every episode, he spends at least <laughs> there's at least like half a dozen scenes at the Bada Bing strip club. Yeah. Okay. I think it's only exterior. Is what it is. Oh, okay, gotcha. Mm. Okay, folks, so we're going to do horse fever. Uh, I've rolled the dice, so the way we do this setup is basically um, each of us, between us, is going to have a relationship category and then a detail under that category. And then we're also going to have one need, one object, and one location. To determine those, we're going to go in a circle. Each person is going to pick from the list, and each time they pick from the list, they use a number on a dice. So we got pretty lucky. We've got ones, we've got twos, we've got threes, we've got fours, we got fives, we got sixes. So we have a, an okay spread. Um so you know what? I'll I'll go f you know, I feel like I always go first. Jimmy, you want to go first? So I think <laughs> we need uh, a high level relationship category and the two people it's gonna go between. So family at the races, friendship, romance, crime, or from the past. Uh, I will choose, if I may, um, I'll go with for relationship uh, five crime between Ian and myself. Oh. All right, folks, that's that's the five. So no more fives. Uh, will, your turn. You can either choose the detail under that relationship or you can choose the high-level relationship category between yourself and Jimmy or yourself and myself. Uh, what do I got? Everything but five? Everything but five. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, under crime, prostitute, and pimp. For you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Oh. <laughs> just remember, we can do this. We just got to keep it PG-13, but we can do this. Um... <laughs> And at some point, we'll have to decide who is the prostitute, who is the pimp. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, my turn. I get to choose a high-level relationship between myself and Will or Elf and Jimmy. Um, you know what? I'm going to do at the races. Or mm. Jimmy and Will. So that's a two. Ooh, no more twos. All right, Jimmy, it is your turn. Um, all right. I'm going to choose for uh, between Ian and Will from the past. From the Ooh. past. Okay. Oh, that's a good setup. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, your turn. I think we're out of twos and fives. Oh, sorry. We have a two. We're out of fives and sixes. Uh, I'm going to do between me and Jimmy. I'm going to do four bookie and customer for at three. Bookie and customer. Bookie and customer. Okay. Um, so I get to choose the detail under Will and I, and I have a one, two, and three under from the past. He, she knows what I did in the past. Grew up together in another town. A debt never paid. I'm going to go with number one. He, she knows what I did in the past. <laughs> What'd you do? He, she knows <laughs> what I did. Will's name should be Will's name should be he she. Uh oh man, I, re I read this hilarious book once called uh Straight Man, and it was about it was about this guy who was a college professor and he was just like an English college professor and he was like really fed up with the college. <laughs> and there was this one like he was a male professor of like contemporary literature and the narrator who was also the character always referred to him as or she 
even though that wasn't his name, because every single time somebody in conversation would be like, would be like, well, if you have a student and he and he says something to you and the professor would say, or she, and he would just <laughs> always interject with or she. So he just called him that for the entire, no entire novel, <laughs> Professor or she. Or she. Uh, uh, did you write this book? I did. Um, looking for a publisher, <laughs> if you're interested. All right. So we need a need, an object and a location. So that is going to be Jimmy. You get to choose the top level category. We have ones, twos, and threes left for need, object, or location. All right. Um, hmm. All right. I should have been preparing. I wasn't. I'm going to say... For needs one to get away. To get and away. I have to give that to somebody. <laughs> yes. Um, I'll give it uh, to myself, I suppose. Okay, I'm just going to leave it here for you then. It's to get away. So one. Okay, uh, Will, your turn. You can choose the detail under the need or you can choose the object or location category. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not... I'm gonna pick... Sorry, I can pick under... Oh, yeah, I can pick under need or... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. There's a one, two, and three available. I'm going to say location where the money is. It's a one. Mm. Okay. And these are these are general, the object and the location. What is it called? Where the money is? Yeah. Okay. Um I'm gonna pick the detail under need to get away. And it's going to be from your debtors. So Jimmy has a need to get away from his debtors. <laughs> so I, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause right here real quick because I feel like, and this is mostly Jimmy and I. Let me know if you're feeling this. I feel like, I feel like it would be best if I'm the prostitute, you're the pimp, <laughs> but you're also the bookie and Will's the customer, and so you're harassing us for money, et cetera, kind of like that. But at the same time, your need is to get away from your debtor. So there's a monkey on your back, and you're the monkey on other people's backs. What do you think? Okay, so I'm trying to get the money from you guys so I can pay off people that I'm in debt to. Yeah, that's it's yeah, it's kind of like uncut gems in a way. Fantastic movie. Oh, okay. So I'll just be Adam Sandler then. Was uh, that your Adam Sandler? <laughs> so I think. Stop he, looking at me, Swan. <laughs> um. Is what you're in store for? Everybody. So I think key details that means that I'm the prostitute, Jimmy's the pimp, Jimmy's the bookie, Will's the customer. Okay. All right. Um, that was, I think it's Jimmy's turn. You can now do the detail under location, or you can do the object category, and there's a one and a three available. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. So object, we don't even have the top category. For yeah, right? exactly. Object. Uh, so let me, um, while you're thinking, let me read out the <laughs> options for viewers at home. So he can yep. either choose that the object is valuable or information, and then there are sub things under that, or he can choose that the location is branch number 11 of the First National Bank or the Opera Theater. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going to go with for object top category valuable. Okay. That's a one. Okay. Do I have to assign that to somebody? Or no. That's just like... I think these can just be out in the nether. Okay. That may be a house rule that I've made up. I can't remember, but I like it that way anyways, because it's like a grab bag. If you feel like you need it in a scene, you can grab it and use it in the scene. Um, Will's turn. You need to pick the detail... Object. 
under Val. Winning ticket for the third race. Winning ticket for the third race. That's that's a good one. I think we're building something great right here. Um. Okay, and the last one is a one, but it's actually wild. So where the money is... We have branch number 11 of the First National Bank, the Biennial Horse Show, the Opera Theater, the International Expo, the Imperial Suite of the Von Halt Hotel, the French Fashion Boutique. Uh, let's keep it horse themed. You know, it's got to be <laughs> the Biennial Horse Show. I love a good Biennial Horse Show. Okay, so folks, let's um, let's go through. Well, actually, let's think of some names. So think of your character names. Um, I'm the prostitute. Jimmy's the pimp. Jimmy's the bookie. <laughs> Will's the customer. Customer. Will knows. How about you know what? Well, how do you want to do that? Do what? He, she knows what I did. Oh, um, do you want it to be one directional or do you want to be bi directional? As in, we, we each have some dirt on each other. <laughs> um, no, I think it should be one direction. But is that he? I oh, love that band. You know what I did or I know what you did? It's, it's on the relationship between us. So it's either. Okay. So what, do you have any thoughts? I was going to say, wait, you're a, you're a pimp. I'm a prostitute. I was going to say, I'm the pimp. Oh, you're the prostitute. Yeah. I'm going to say that you don't actually, I know that you don't actually uh, bed anyone. You just steal money from races to then pay to the pimp. That's good. Okay. All right. So he knows what I did. Got it. That's our relationship. Okay. All right. I know, I know my name. Um, do you guys know your name or you need some time? I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. All right. My name is... My name is Cherry Blossom. Oh, mm. uh, Jimmy, what's your name? Uh, Slippy Snakeman. <laughs> Snake man, Snake men. Uh, man, but it's Snakeman is how it's pronounced. Got it. Okay, Slippy Snakeman. And William, my name. Is patio furniture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're playing a border again. I'm kind of. I don't. I. I kind of don't want to spell it furniture. <laughs> so, patio. Burn. Could you put like? Oh, you put -E -E over. Just do f e r n. F e r n patio fern. Patio fern i. Well, I was thinking c c c i a patio furniture. Oh, yeah, that's good. Patio furniture. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sitting it's, on that one for a while. It's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh, my God. Oh. All right. So um, before we get into this, I just want to describe real quick how this is going to work as a refresher to you guys who already know the game so well, but also as an introduction to viewers. Basically, um, we're going to go in order. Um, each of us is going to start a scene. And then other people are going to hop in or be introduced into the scene, either as their main character or as side characters are needed. Um, the person who is their turn, they start the scene. They choose if it's a flashback, current, etc. They kind of do a little intro. Just think of it as you're describing a scene in a movie or a play. Um, the person who starts the scene also gets to determine when the scene ends. So whenever they want to end it, they just say scene. Um, we're, we're pretty fast and loose with that rule, so it doesn't matter. The other people um who didn't start the scene at some point in the scene they need to say black die or white die and what that means is black die means the person who started the scene it has to end badly for their character a white die means it has to end good for their character or another way fiasco puts it is you get what you want or you don't get what you want um in that scene um so for example if i'm starting a scene i'm saying blah 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 a couple ways into the scene will says black die i now know that i need to end the scene or we need to end the scene in a way that's bad for my character um another house rule we've been doing is fast and loose so anybody can say black die white die sometimes we forget it doesn't really matter um the dies they get passed around 
it doesn't really matter. It's not score. It's just a nice way of mixing it up. So at the very end of the game, we can roll the die and kind of come up with a rough epilogue for each of our characters. Um, the one thing I'll say, I feel like we've been doing a really good job with these games, but I feel like we can make them longer. Um, so some of these scenes, feel free to like really chew the scenery and make them longer if you guys want to. Um, we don't need to necessarily make them, you know, two, three minute scenes. I, I think part of it that's weird is like people, they say like describe these as a movie scenes, but movie scenes are very short in most movies. So it's really more like we can go longer. Um, yeah, most, most movie scenes are short. I would say on average. It was, well, you only watch like Christopher Nolan movies. God, what a real piece of work that guy is. <laughs> I love him. You guys seen Tenet yet? I need to watch it and hate it. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, um, Jimmy, you should be on our podcast. We just started. Oh, you started <laughs> I do need a guest, so if you want to be on, yeah, if you want yeah. a guest, yeah, we can totally do it. It's a video game podcast. What's by the concept. Like. Let, let's spend several minutes talking. Uh, about actually, that. you should explain that to him while I pee. Yeah, Will's gonna pee. Basically, it's called. Oh no, I wanna, I wanna stay with him. <laughs> <laughs> stay with him. <laughs> um, basically, it's called Local Chat. We just started it up. It's every Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, basically, the way it goes is we have a couple people on, three or four of us. We talk about what games we've been playing, and then we just kind of go through the big gaming news items. So, like this past week, one of the things we talked about was I don't know if you saw Breath of the Wild. One of the hackers who looks into Breath of the Wild software code found out that the way they built their Hylian characters was basically using an advanced version of the Mead creator for the Wii and Wii U. I think I did see that. Yeah. That's really weird. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just kind of like talk about that. We had a, we talked about Roblox for a little bit because Roblox thinks they're valued at $30 billion and they want to be on the stock market now at that valuation. So we just kind of like, I don't even know what that is. We just hang out, we chat, and then we go through some news stories. So, uh, always open for guests. I feel like that'd be fun. Anyways, folks, I'm, I'm stalling. Cause you know what? Honestly, does anybody have a good opening for this? <laughs> um, I, I, cause I feel like I should go first, but I, I just don't have an opening. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, 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 you got it. Okay. Scene is at the biennial horse show. We're two races down. Third race is about to start. Mm -hmm. Tatio Furniture <laughs> is buying a ticket from Slippy Snakeman. Okay. Uh, for the for the show. So that's where we start. Oi, Slippy, you got a... I want to buy a ticket from you. Oh, Patty, it's, uh, it's real good to see you here. You, the... you want to buy tickets? <laughs> if you got yeah, any third... spare cashish, it should be going in my pocket. You know what I mean? Yeah, the third race is coming up. I want to bet it. The third race? The third race. Oh, haven't heard about that one. All right, uh... Here's your ticket. You know, before I hand this over to you... Should I tell you what horse I want? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just write you down. Okay. You know, I'll you know whoever wins. <laughs> you know, tell me the horse. Just tell me, tell me the horse. I'll take a salt and battery. <laughs> to win. Excuse me. Oh, I'm to sorry. win the race. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm sorry. This is this is a visual question. How is that spelled? <laughs> is it is it's it a space? Salt. Oh no, salt. I thought it was. Oh, I, I was going to say it's A space S A L T E D space battery. <laughs> oh, yes. Assaulted battery. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. I'll okay. take assaulted battery to win the third race. All right. Here's your ticket and hope you win because uh, you. you don't pay up pretty soon, you know, on your uh, multiple debt to yours truly. You're a little uh, tardy. Listen here, Slippy. If this boy wins. I'll be able to pay you and then some. Oh, that'd be great if you paid me more than I was due. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but I have more than enough money to re retire to the Glen. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to do it. 
Yeah, I gotta love those glens. Well, I love the glens and plenty of Guinness and a pinto. I love Slippy? pinto beans. Slippy, are you in here? Yeah, I'm doing a transaction, hon. Hey, Slippy, I, I gotta give you, you know, this week's t Oh, hi, Patty. Oh, if it ain't the bow of the land, me lassie. <laughs> oh, Patty, you're always too nice to me. I wonder what it is I'm... you're after this time. Oh, I'm always two tugs away from a <sighs> tugger. All right, well, Slippy, I got you. I got you. Take this Ouch. week. It's uh, right here. And she pulls out a fat envelope, slaps it in your hand. Ah, oh, lot of men you be seeing there, Cherry. <laughs> oh, you know they get they get a bit excited around the horse season, you know. Oh, I see. As do I. Oh, I'll be off where with my third ticket. I'll see you later. Excuse me, your what? My my ticket for the assaulted battery. Oh, the third race. Yeah, I hope good things about that one. Me too. All right, Bye. good luck with your poop race. Enjoy White die. White die. Um, oh. I guess I got what I wanted from the scene, but if you guys yeah. want to finish out the scene, I can call scene when you're done. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Hey, Slippy. Listen, yeah. uh, you know, I've been working real hard these past couple months, you know? Oh, apparently. I don't know how someone like you as, uh, let's say not exactly young, not exactly fit, not exactly hey, sexually slippy. appealing, always slippy. brings in the kashish. Well, what can what? I say? You can always find a pervert, you know? Whatever you're offering, there's always a pervert. We do. We do specialize in sickos down at this racetrack, so you got a point. I tell you, some of these guys, they're just... Some of them are real special. Some of them are real creeps. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, I need a little, uh, I need a little extra petty cash this week. Okay. You know, I'm running low on, you know, prophylactics and lube and the like. <laughs> uh, well, you know, my girl who keeps delivering the Benjamins <laughs> to me, <laughs> I can spare a little extra. Scritch. Oh, thanks, Slippy. I hand you over five dollars. Slippy, I'm gonna need a little bit more than this. Five more dollars. All right, Slippy, I see how it's gonna be. I'll see you later, okay? At the same time next week? Okay. See, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so it's my turn now. Okay. Yeah. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> Okay, it's a continuous scene. We follow Cherry Blossom out of the room, and she walks out of the room and onto the main floor of the Meadowlands racetrack. And it's hustling, it's bustling. There's all these guys in suits there. There's a couple women wearing the race hats, etc. Um, you know the boards are going crazy. There's uh, announcers saying, next race in 10 minutes, next race, third race, 10 minutes. And, um, you know, she walks across the room. She's sashaying across the room. She's like a special type of fugly, you know? Um, <laughs> so she's sashaying across the room. And there's a couple guys who are like <clears throat> giving her a look. And she's just ignoring them. And she walks right up to the ticket counter. She says, I want to place a bet in the third race. Okay, so it's racer. What do you want to play the bit on? Wado, no! Oh, Wado, I. Third race. I got a real hot tip, okay? Oh, hot tip, so do I, sweet. I don't want to go buy the shit. I'm just kidding. Yay! I want to put, and she takes out the $10, and then she reaches in a back pocket, and she takes out another wad of cash. She puts it on top, and she goes. I want $100 on that 40 to 1 horse. Pepsi Cola Man. And she slides. Pepsi it. Cola Man? Nobody's betting on that horse. The thing is all sick. It's, 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 it's washed up, washed out, washed in, washed over, wash under. Nobody wants that horse. Keep your money. Don't, don't bet on that horse. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, yeah. Waddle. You and me, we ain't the prettiest folks around here. What? A, lot of, a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of people say that about us, but we make it in life. We make it by. We make it more than by. You know what I'm saying? 
My life is falling apart. <laughs> well, Watto, maybe you should stop stealing and child slaves, okay? That's all I'm going to say. You don't tell me my business. Uh, black. No, they're not. <laughs> okay. Black die. Um, so then, um... Here's your ticket. Get out of here and stop insulting me. Okay, so I take the ticket. And I start walking across the, uh, I start sashaying across the floor. And then a waiter comes and bumps into me. And it's just like, oh, no. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's, it's okay. It's all right, hon. It's all right. And I keep going. And we pan down to the floor. And my ticket's on the floor. <gasps> oh, my Ticket for Pepsi Cola, man. Can it be your ticket on the floor and there's a hand coming down to pick it up? Yes. Okay, oh my I forgot. Goodness. So first scene, Will got a white die, but in the first act, Will, you give that die away to somebody. Uh, I'll give it to Slippy Snake Man. Okay, and then I got a black die, and I'm going to give it to Watto. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> um, okay, so now it is Slippy's turn. All right, um... It's going to be a uh, scene opens. Uh, it's going to be kind of like out behind uh, the track, kind of like in an alleyway. Mm-hmm. And Slippy goes, all right, time to uh, take a leak before the show gets a, gets a going, he says to nobody. And he starts uh, urinating. And then somebody walks up next to him and goes, you know, big guy, intimidating. He got, got you know. Mm-hmm. Old timey hat, full trench coat, intimidated look type, scars on his face, chomping a big old cigar, and he goes, uh, <clears throat> he goes, oh, 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 um, Duggo, uh, what are you doing here? Slippy. Yeah, that's that's my name. I forgot what my voice sounds like. Already. You weren't answering. You weren't answering my calls yesterday. But the calls I, on on what? What were you calling me on? On your cell phone, Slippy. Your mobile cell phone I and your pager. About cell phones. And oh, your pager. pagers! Uh, you wanted your I house. Forgot about that. You wanted your house. Oh, my house! I forgot about my house. Right. Oh, oh, silly misunderstanding. Just Slippy. Just slipped my mind. Anyway, so good to see you, Thuggo. Uh, let, let's uh. My money. Yeah, we should catch up sometime. Not right now. I'm gonna run away. Slip, and I grabs uh, your and I grab oh. your lapel. Slippy. Hell yeah. How'd you get that name? Uh, by being a real, uh, you know, slippy type of guy, you know, just uh, kind of uh, ripping people off and then weaseling out of the situation. White guy. Slippy. You're a real funny guy sometimes. You know, you. when I saw you, I thought this man gives me laughs. Maybe you can also give me money. But so far, you're coming up a little short on the second one. Yeah, I think this is actually more of what my voice sounded like, so I'm going to go back to this. <laughs> Listen, I got a lot of money coming through I, I, tonight, and uh, here's a down payment. And he hands over the, the cash that um, Cherry Blossom slapped in his palm. And yeah. he says, I, I, know I'm, I know I'm behind, but I, I, got, I got a lot of uh, cash coming. You just got to give me more time. You got to give me more, more time tonight or tomorrow at the latest. And he takes the envelope. Uh, make, make things coming through. And he opens the envelope and he looks at it. He looks at Slippy. He looks at the envelope, looks at Slippy, and he goes, this doesn't even call a, this doesn't even call your Vic. Where's the full payment? I, I, I said it was a, it's a, it's a down payment, just a percentage of the, of the total amount, to, to, a, a gesture of good faith to show that, you know, Slippy's uh, good for his boy. Slippy, look at me. E? Uh-huh. Tomorrow, plus 5%. You hear me? 5%? But that's 5% more. It would have been no percent if you gave it to me today. You hear me? Oh, Yes, Thuggo, he can rely on old Slippy. Yeah, I'm starting to think I can't. So tomorrow, prove me wrong, okay? Oh, I will. I, you look uh, Otherwise... <laughs> what, what do you have on your face, huh, E? 
Otherwise, you may not be so slippy anymore, you know what I'm saying? No. You'll find out. Well, he walks away. Forward to it. Oh, woo! What was it? Black oh, tie? White tie? Uh, white tie. White tie. White tie. Okay. So My white you... tie was like getting more time. Yeah. So who do you want to give that to? Was that scene? Yeah, I think that's scene. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Scene. Um, I'll give it to uh, Ian. Black cow. Okay. Um... <laughs> Will's turn. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Patio furniture. Uh. Was. Sorry. Patio furniture. Was leaving. Uh. I'm sorry. From... Can I just say real quick? Did you notice that when I came in the scene, I started taking on your Irish accent at the <laughs> beginning? <laughs> it's um, contagious. Slippy. Uh. Ah, oh, sorry. Not slippy. Patty is uh was waiting by the door when cherry blossom left and so we cut back to that and he's falling cherry blossom sees her by the ticket not knock into the waiter and then drop the ticket mm -hmm. and then he sees uh and then he goes over and picks it up but as he's picking up a hand seizes him and they and it, the guy whispers in his ear fbi come with us oh and so he's shuffled away into like a side room, and now he's facing this FBI, supposed FBI agent, and they uh, go to talk to him. Mr. Uh, Mr. Furniture? Yeah, that's me. I'm uh, Agent Good Cop. This is Agent Bad Cop. <laughs> Can I get. Uh, no, nice to meet you. Okay. I'm uh, Agent Bad Cop. Um. <laughs> so my name is Carol Bad Cop. Oh, Can I great get name, oh, Carol. Great my name. Can I get you my anything? You want a soda, a donut, anything like that? Or oh, a soda, donut sandwich. Well, you're not going to get it. Okay? Not until you give us some answers, all right? A little give and take. I don't, I don't have any answers for you. I'm not well, taking nothing. I'm giving Aiden. Agent Bad Cop, you got some questions for him, right? Yeah, some five-fingered questions to punch him with. I don't can't answer punches. Well, you better tell us what we need to know. If you about were, if you, you didn't doubt. say, you didn't ask. <laughs> oh, we always forget that part. <laughs> <laughs> always just skip straight to punching. All Listen, right. I've been wearing this wire for three weeks. What else do you need from me? You boys at the still, bureau. We still need you to get Slippy on the record. We know that he has a link to organized crime. Does this, does this man look familiar to you? And he slips, um, uh, like a giant picture of Thuggo. <laughs> Those Last I saw him, he went in the bathroom after Slippy. They might know each other. I don't know. To the bathroom, you say? Yeah. What were they doing in there? Glorious things, I hear. Oh, oh, boy. Hmm. We need you to get close to Thuggo. In a romantic We need to get him on the wire. Yes. I don't think the show's on anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see this, Agent Bad Cop? We got a jokester in here. You know any other jokes? Oh. Um. Real wise guy. You know what's real funny? The potato famine. That was hilarious, wasn't it? I, I, yeah. uh, hey, remember the troubles? <laughs> Those were funny. Bloody Sunday? Protestants. Best yeah. day ever. Am I right? We know plenty of jokes, pal. They're funny. <laughs> funny jokes, funny jokes. Now funny listen funny up. Jokes. Listen up. Listen in. You need to get Slippy and you need to get Thuggo on the wire. All right? On the wire. Okay. Any bad stuff they do. Okay? Okay. Because Otherwise. we're the FBI. And they're off! I've got to go to the races. Okay, then. Black die. I feel like that's a black die ending already. Yeah. Okay, scene? We'll scene on that, yeah. Okay, alright, who do you want to give your die to? Uh, I'll give it to you. Her good cop, bad cop. So. <laughs> I, was, I was pausing because I was trying to figure out how to make it obvious that 
agent good cop should be the bad cop and agent bad cop should be the good cop and i was like this is too complicated this is too complicated <laughs> um okay so it's cherry blossom and um sorry i'm real slow tonight you guys got any ideas i, I was trying to think of i feel like let's just do a recap real quick all right so Cherry is a fake prostitute. She gives money to her pimp to keep him happy. Uh, Patty has... Well, she thought she had a ticket. Yeah, she thought she had a she ticket. She no longer has it. Yeah. I so think... There's two tickets in play right now for mm -hmm. the third race. We don't know which one is the winning ticket. That's right. Okay, all right. I know, I know what's going to happen. So we go to Cherry Blossom. And she... She is... Um, we see a crowd of people watching the race. And the horses are running. <laughs> and the horses are running. <laughs> and they're cheering them on. And Cherry Blossom isn't paying attention to any of it. She's just walking through the crowd. She slips through a back door. She makes her way to the stables. And she says, Terry? Terry, you here? Yeah, here I am. Terry. I'm Terry. Good old Terry, that's me. Did you do it, Terry? Do we? Of course I did it. What's it again? Good, good. I'm glad you slipped those drugs to Pepsi Cola Man. And then oh, she right, hands right. like a thousand dollars. She pulls out like five hundred dollars and hands it to you. And she goes, for your troubles. Oh, thank you so much. You know, it's so funny that there were two fellas that were kind of asking me about that, too. What wonder what, what I do was mean? doing to the horse. What do you mean? And, you know, these, these masked guys, I think their names were like... Uh, Good cop and bad cop or something. I had some silly questions, but you know, I, I uh cop. didn't really tell him anything. Good cop, bad cop? What were they Polish? I didn't ask their heritage. <laughs> ascertain their heritage. I ascertain their heritage. Well listen. You got any stuff left? Well, a little bit more than what I put in my veins. I got a little bit uh, extra for you. All right, let me have it. And he Here hands you go. Hands over like a black vinyl leather bag kit. And she takes it. She slips it into a purse and she says, Terry, I may be back for more later, okay? But if anybody asks, I went around here. Nothing happened with that horse, okay? But you were. <laughs> well, and it did. Yeah, that's a good point, Terry. But how about this? How about you and me, wink, wink. We say that... Wink, wink. We say we had a little roll in the hay and we played with your horsey. How about that? Not quite a lie, but close enough, you know? Sure. All right. Thanks, Terry. Uh, I, she, she had I love you. Scene. Okay, I'm going to give that to... to uh, I'm going to give that to Will because he has no dice. Uh, Thank you. This is the last okay. someone last, stealing all the characters. Last scene of Act Two, Jimmy's turn. I'm sorry, Slippy's turn. Okay. Um. All right. Well, he's he's back, and uh, the race is going on. And is it the turd race? It's currently underway. Okay, the turd race is underway, and he's okay. like, "Oh, how I talk? Was it like this? I'm just gonna. It's gonna be different every single time." Oh. oh, gee, I, I gotta get that cash. Douglas gonna be so mad at me. Uh, and then he thinks, oh, I remember now that the, the ticket I sold, it was, it was to, uh, it was to Patty. Oh, no, that, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I can't remember what experiences were mine and which ones were other people's. <laughs> so, uh -oh. Patty, I, I sold him the ticket for, uh, for, uh, assaulted battery. If that horse wins this race, I win the green or black or, you know, expressions. And he runs up to the racetrack, side of the racetrack, and he's, he's yelling at the horse, and, he's, and he, um, screams, uh, Go, assaulted battery! Go, like your life depends on it, because mine does this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm sorry, wait. No. <laughs> If assaulted battery wins, then you then you lose money. Yeah. 
Oh. It's like you're the you're the house. No, no. no. Here's the deal that we made. Okay. Okay. Is that he bought the ticket, <laughs> and that if he wins, he'll use the money to pay me off. Oh. And okay. like I I I don't own the track. I just oh, work oh. there. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. Yeah. He owes you money, but he doesn't have the money. So if he wins his ticket, then he wrecked. He got wrecked. You. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm understanding now. So I'm, I'm cheering and hooting, and the race is going, and it looks like Assaulted Battery's going to pull it off. Uh, but then at the very last second, uh, Black Dive. Uh, yeah, yeah. At the at the last second, uh... <laughs> what's the other one's name? Oh, Pepsi Cola Man. Pepsi Cola Man's eyes go super wide, and it lets out a wild bray, and it starts galloping forward <laughs> at an insane pace. And just by the width of a nose hair, beats uh, assaulted battery. <gasps> and the Salted Battery, I mean, loses <laughs> in second place. And the other oh, one, Pepsi, oh, no, it's the losers first. <laughs> Pepsi Cola Man, I'm, I'm drunk, and I haven't been paying attention. Not a daiquiri, anyway. please. <laughs> Terry, get out of here. Pepsi no, no, Cola no, no, Man, no. what's the race? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, is that scene? They get yeah. drugs to and No, and then, and then uh, something goes, oi, oi, oi. Whoa. Okay. And that's uh, a scene. <laughs> uh, so you get a black die. Who do you want to give that to? Uh, Will. Okay. All right. So now we have, haven't we each already done two scenes or? Yeah, we've been doing short no. scenes. Oh, okay. okay. Um, contrary to what we wanted. To I know, do. and I'm I'm part of the problem too. <laughs> it's all right. We're having fun. So now we're gonna roll the die. The die are going to determine for each person who gets to choose the tilt. There are two tilts. The tilts are basically ways of um, kind of introducing mayhem or chaos, etc. So the way we do this is we subtract one die from the other. So that is a black four for Ian. This is a zero for Jimmy. And this is a... White two for Will. So uh, Will and I get to pick. Um, there's a five, a one, one, three, five. Okay, so I have the tilt table up. So we each of us get to choose a category. So there's mayhem. One, three, five. There's mayhem, innocence, paranoia. Which one would you like, Will? Mayhem, innocence, paranoia. Uh, mayhem. Hey. Mayhem. Mayhem is the a one, so I get a one, three, five. And I'm going to do innocence. Okay. So that is the one, three is gone. So now we have a one and a five. So, Will, your choice is you're going to choose my detail and I use choose your detail. So you get to choose somebody is not so innocent after all or love rears its ugly head. Uh, someone isn't as innocent as uh, after all. Okay. And then that is a one. So I get to choose the five under mayhem, which is cold blooded score settling. Um Oh wow, we've already we've already pretty much done the um the object and the location. We're doing a good job in terms of keeping track of all that stuff. So, the two tilts are cold-blooded score settling and someone isn't so innocent. So, just things that we want to try and work in like thematic changes, etc. Um it is Will's turn. Um and for this round you get to keep the dice instead of Handing them out. Uh, let's do uh, let's do a quick recap. Should we do a recap? Yeah. So recap. Starting from the very beginning, Patty has purchased a ticket from Slippy, a gay from the horse track, for 
Assaulted Battery. <laughs> God, that's such a great name. Um, <laughs> for Assaulted Battery, um, who did not win the race, and therefore Patty is going to lose his money. Slippy's not going to get his money. He's not going to be able to pay Thuggo, the man that he owes money to and needs to pay off tomorrow. Patty's wearing a wire for the FBI and needs to get Slippy and Thuggo in some uh, criminal endeavors. Cherry, on the other hand, purchased a ticket for the winner, um, Pepsi Cola Man, who she paid Terry to drug. However, she doesn't realize yet she doesn't have the ticket. Patty does. Mm. Okay. Bill's turn. Um, okay. I don't have to settle these tilts right away, right? No. Okay. You, you know what? Can I can I start it off? Do you want me to start it? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So we right after the announcer's voice, we whip pan to uh Cherry. And she's watching the racetrack. And she's listening to the announcer. And there's like an interesting moment where you think that she would be like really excited, but instead she gets this smirk on her face, almost as if like exactly as planned mm. and then she she walks over t back through the crowd back up to Watto she says Watto old friend how you doing hey I, I, how am I doing how you doing you would win the big race yes I did and I'm here to cash out and she reaches in her purse and she and sh she can't find it she goes where is it Watto you gave me the ticket right where is it Where's the ticket? You it. You Nina, what do you mean? And she and she she looks around the crowd and she sees off in the corner, she sees Patty just gleefully celebrating. Just does look like Will. Irish car bombs. And she goes <laughs> and she goes, wait a minute. And she goes over to Patty and she goes, Patty, what are you so excited for? Oh, I'm excited for, for the, I'm pining for the fjords. I'm so excited. I won the ticket. Patty, and... Patty, what are you talking about? I saw you place the bet for Assaulted Battery. He lost. I vaguely remember you coming in after that scene had completed, but regardless <laughs> of that... <laughs> I uh, went and did a second bet with the uh, the legitimate the legitimate bookies, and uh, I did uh, forty to one on uh, the one that won Pepsi Cola Man. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Wow. Happy. Now that you have a little flush, maybe we could spend some time together. What do you think? You and I both know we won't be spending any time together. Well. Here. Okay, but at least give a. Uh... Give a nice Jersey girl a hug, okay? Hug and a kiss. And she wraps her arms around you. And she pats, pats, pats. And she feels... Something. And she goes... The wire. She walks away and she goes... Best of luck to you, Patty. I'll be seeing you around. She walks away. Seen. I guess that's a... Black die? <laughs> I forget every single yeah, time. She, she, she didn't get what she wanted. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Slippy's turn. Uh, all right. Um, okay. How about... Uh, he's um, just, like, on his knees on the side of the track, like, hands in his hair, and he's like, oh, what am I going to... Don't worry, my old life is over here. And then he's like, ah, he, spot, he spots Patty. And he's like, oh, Patty must be just as uh, devastated as I am. And he sees, you know, Patty's whistling his little Irish tune. Slippy, um, Slippy. <laughs> saying his own name, <laughs> like a Pokemon. Um, <laughs> oh, that's my name. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm like a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, Slippy, boy. I can pay you back, Slippy. You can pay me 
back? This is a miracle. How? I, I found a ticket on the ground, the winning ticket. Ticket? Don't tell anyone. A, 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 a winning ticket for, the, for Pepsi Cola, man? Yes, here's your 500, and here's another oh. 500, because I love you. Oh, 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 I'm getting physical affection. This is, yeah, things are turning around for old Slippy. And also, I, here's a wee uh, bit of a present for you, but don't open it yet. Just keep it on you. And he hands oh, you a, a well, nicely wrapped so kind. package. You know, I just... String. I know you love your packaging. The, the uh, illegal... Um, Loans and other criminal endeavors we've gotten together. I just want to say out loud for the record, they've meant so much to me. <laughs> and uh, getting all this cash and this sweet little present here, uh, there's nobody else I would rather commit crimes with. And just to be clear, we have committed crimes <laughs> together. <laughs> oh, Slippy, you funny bastard. Not many people would admit openly admit to crimes. In front of another what? human or what? other people. Who what could go wrong? Not everything's, much, you know. Everything's coming up, Slippy. I, am a, I think you're about to blow up. It's going to be so exciting. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I got to go find Thuggo and give him his hard earned cash. Yes, but keep the present with you. Wouldn't want someone to steal it, would you? Of course, and, don't tip and I, at, at what point in time should I open it up? Oh, you know, when you're surrounded by friends, enemies, or people you owe money to. It gives me a lot of options. <laughs> That's what I intended. <laughs> I've got to go. Uh, I've got to meet with some friends. Bye. So long, you sweet Irish bastard. And theme. 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 So that is a white die. Because you got what you wanted. Money. Uh, patio furniture. Patio furniture. Okay, patio furniture is back in that back room with Agent Good Cop and Carol Bad Cop. <laughs> uh, Agent Carol Bad Cop. Um, Thank you. And uh, we'll just start there. Okay, I gave him the money with the wire in it, and I gave him the the package with the bomb in it. Excuse me? You know, the package you gave me with the bomb in it. I didn't die. Agent Batcop, did you give him a package with a bomb in it? That's not ringing a bell. Your guy came over. He said, Patty, this has got a bomb in it. Be very careful. Hand it over to Slippy. Also give him the cash that the FBI thugs gave to you to give to him. Also, I hate you. All those things happened. Ah, uh, did this fellow mention his name? Yeah, he was some soprano. So, soprano, that was his name. Wait a minute. Did this guy, <laughs> was he short and blue and had like a long nose and he's a little bit kind of a fat belly? No, he wasn't Danny DeVito, if that's what you're wondering. Was his name Watto? <laughs> No, no, not not the teller. <sighs> That's good. Things would have been interesting if it squid. were him, but it's a good thing it's not him. <laughs> okay, so Anyways. we're back to this mystery person that we have no idea who they are, and they're being introduced so <laughs> late into the story. <laughs> Soprano. Actually, now that I think about it, it was Watto. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we can jog your memory. Okay. Just made the connection. Wop. Okay. Okay. But we gotta figure out. We gotta get rid of this bomb. What about That's Thuggo? Not supposed to be there. What about Thuggo? You get Thuggo on tape? Uh, I mean, I, I, I put the wire in the money, so before it blows up, I figured you'd guys get the recording anyways. So you expect us to recover the recording before the bomb goes off? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's wireless, as with the times. Mm, it is the future. <laughs> you got a good the point, year's 20, The year's 2077. Here's the thing, Patty. Here's the thing, Patty. We didn't send Watto. He's not an informant. So you got to go get that bomb, or you're going to have... Two murder charges on your head. 
Black Die. Black Die. <laughs> a scene? Yeah, yeah, we can end it there. <laughs> okay. Um all right, so cherry blossom. Um Cherry Blossom's <laughs> in the in the women's room. And she's in the stall. And she walks into the women's room. She heads into a stall. She closes it. She sits down on the toilet. And she pulls out the leather kit. And she opens it. And there's two syringes in there. One syringe is empty. The other syringe is full. And she picks up the syringe. And written on it. On the side is a label. That says. HH. Dash. Horse heroin. <laughs> And she goes, she like does a little syringe thing where she holds it up and squirts a little bit. She goes, okay, wait a minute. I got to think of how, okay. And she takes it and she goes, <laughs> she takes it and she, she pulls, opens her purse and she takes out a glass and she puts the horse heroin in it and the glass had like ice in it. So now it looks like a cocktail. And she puts the kit back together. She puts it in her purse. She stands up. She leaves the restroom and she's sashaying across the room. She's looking for somebody. And then she spots Patty. And she in goes. In the women's room? No, no. She's, she's walking across the racetrack okay. lobby now. She spots Patty. Patty is like just left a back room that the FBI were in. He's just walked out of the room and he's kind of booking it across. And she goes, Patty. Oh, Patty. Patty. Oh, hey there, Cherry Blossom. How are we doing? Listen, I got you this glass. It's champagne. Just want to say congratulations. Oh, thank you, Patty. But I'm a bit of a run right now. I've got to get going. You can't turn down champagne this nice. Aye, but to get at least 300 meters away from the building for no particular reason is why I need to go. <laughs> Come now. Well, I've, I guess ne I could... I've never heard an hey, Irishman to turn down a drink. <laughs> hey, is that a cocktail? Yeah. I'm in the oh, mood to Slippy, celebrate. drink it for me, man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll oh, no, chug no, 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 no. I don't know. And Slippy grabs it and chugs it. Oh, no, no, uh, no. See, cocktail drink, and I can go away now. And then... Ah, time to do my very important task of delivering money to the crime boss to whom what? I owe it for illegally lending me funds. Slippy, where, where'd you put the package? Oh, I got it right here. Oh, buddy, buddy. Oh, no. Let's keep it right safe there. here. <laughs> oh, do you mind? I don't know if I give you the right package. Do you mind if I take a wee look at it? Oh, yeah, my, hey, hey, are you an Indian giver? I don't mean to sound politically incorrect. You know, these days, 2077, every PC police and everything. No, no, sorry. I just... Uh, no, no worries. I've just got to get be, be on my way. Gentlemen, yeah. gentlemen, I don't mean to hold you, but it sounds like both of you have an important meeting to go to. So I'm slipping into Irish why, again. Why do you have an Irish accent? <laughs> you okay. Oh, Cherry. Sounds like both of you got, a, got an important meeting to go to, all right? So both of you go. You enjoy. And Patty, again, congratulations. And Slippy, uh, best of luck, I guess, okay? Uh, I'm going to give myself and a white dye. Patty, since... You've really come through to me today. I want to introduce you to someone who I think could give you a lot of great opportunities. Why don't you come oh, with what, me and meet I... my good old gangster oh, friend? You'll open up doors. Like come on, you're coming, you're coming. And he grabs him by the arm and he drags him along. Steen. <laughs> okay, so just to be clear, Slippy now has horse heroin in his system, and we're not sure when it's going to kick in. <laughs> and he also has a bomb. <laughs> And he's heading to Thuggo, <laughs> and Fatty has a wire on him. I just want, I want the movie to have a ticking that you think's the bomb, and it goes, ding, and his pupils just grow. <laughs> <laughs> we could do it. It's Slippy scene. Oh. Oh, boy. All right. Um. Uh, well, we uh, show up at a, um, at a bar. Uh, Patty and I, the bar's called, uh, what are you going to do about it? 
<laughs> um, is, this, is this in the complex? Let's say it's next Which, door. In, in the racetrack? Yeah, okay, but it's right next door. <laughs> so what are you going to do about it? The bar's it? in um, the racetrack. It's in the parking lot. They couldn't get the rights to the bar, so they built the parking right. lot around it. <laughs> this is that, that's where, you know, his organization yeah. does uh, their, their crimes out of. Hey, and hey, 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 hey. What are you two? What are you two doing here? What do you want? You know, I've got to go. anyways. No, you did can't. <laughs> this guy's so humble, so shy. I'll go. You here to see the I boss? Got... You here to see the boss? Yeah, I'll go, please. I want to. All right, see he's him. in the back. He's in the back. Thank you, and a little something for your trouble, and I slip you a one dollar bill. Can't even buy a Snickers bar with this. <laughs> All right, so we go and knock on the door. I'll go. Yeah, who is it? I'll go. It's your best friend, Slippy. Come on in. You know, Slippy, I can... Yeah, right, yeah, I mean, you know what? I'm bringing a friend along, too, who I, I, I said to him, know you know who loves me. crimes and making money illicitly? My friend, Duggo. And, you know, this guy's great... Hold up, hold up, hold up, Slippy. Uh-huh. I only want to see you for one reason and one reason only. You got my money? Oh. <laughs> Silly me, I've got your money, plus... Interest. So consider my illicit loan paid off. And he I takes the envelope. The and he opens it up. And then he opens his desk drawer and he puts the envelope in it and he closes it and he says, Slippy, looks like you're going to get a chance to slip another day away. You open yeah, it up. Slip another day away. And that reminds me, I got a present, so I. I should be open in the. Uh, Present about uh, <laughs> now. I, uh, oh, oh, Slippy. oh, here we go. Have a seat, Slippy. Have a seat. Okay. Well, have right. It. I'll You've got quite a, a quite a ribbon. No. What's wrong with quite them? Quite a ribbon tied up on here. Don't need to open it right now. What's I wrong with them? I just had a cocktail. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I'm feeling. Oh. I'm not crazy. <laughs> oh, just a great night. You know, that cocktail. That cocktail you gave me, Patty, I think it's hitting me a little funny. But let me open up this present that you, Patty, specifically gave to me. I'm told me to open it right now. I lock the door. I just lock the door. We're locked in here. I'll go, don't let him out because we're all friends now. Slippy? Time to what are you Patty. doing, Slippy? Don't open the package! No. What's going Not on one. here? It's a bomb! Stop him! What's going Not on oh. here? What's oh, going on? The package. And it's open! Boom! <laughs> we, can't, we can't have them all die. <laughs> um, let's do a scene. And we still have one scene with Patty. Okay. So that's a scene. Okay. Uh, you know what? There's only there's only white dye left. So you get a white dye, which I guess you paid off your debt. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Okay. There we go. Patty has a white dye scene, so just remember that. Okay, scene. Can I suggest Same something? Room. What? Huggo's a big guy. Maybe his whole body absorbed the blast. <laughs> so, <laughs> Do whatever door, you want, Will. Door opens. Patty stumbles out. Or, uh, not Patty stumbles out. Door opens because, like, the guards rush to it and open it. Mm -hmm. And the room's dark. Or a little bit dark. And there's just coughing. And, uh, swaying Slippy is holding a package with now bright spar sparklers coming out of it. And a little music box, and it says, Happy, happy birthday, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my From god. Otto. And wow. And he's like cowering like this. He's like, It's my birthday. It's not happy, the bomb. Happy birthday. It's the bomb. I'll be taking that and I'll be going now. Don't worry. And as he walks forward, the his 
shirt falls down and there's just a wire hanging out. Mm-hmm. Does anybody see? Was... Yeah, I mean, it's plain. Okay. I forgot what Tucko's voice sounds like. Oh, uh... yeah. What's that? It's a new type of necktie. Oh, it's Whoa. beautiful. Let me try it on. No, it's okay. I've just been wearing it for the past... It's just with a bit of adhesive. Not too bad. Come here. And he grabs oh, the wire. Very big hand. And he brings you in. And he wraps oh. it around your head. And he starts ah. squeezing and squeezing oh. and squeezing. And then you hear, Get your hands in the air! Get your hands in the air! I'm Agent Good Cop! Get your hands in the air! Put your hands in the air and your weapons down I and see. stop strangling him. I'm Agent Daryl Bad Cop. Thuggo drops it. And he just slowly puts his hands in the air. He says, Patty, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you one day. slowly walk over towards the FBI and go, I am so glad you're here. I'm just, I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to run to the bathroom. And he slowly no. past the cops. <laughs> or past the FBI. Ah. Uh, escaped. Flippy. All right. Mm -hmm. I can see in there if you want. Or we yeah, I think that's scene. I think that's scene. Okay. Um, so let's, um, let's do the aftermath. So folks, we're going to roll the die for each person. And count it up. So I have a 10 white on 11 black. So that means I am one black. My aftermath. Horrible. You are probably dead. Other people, probably innocent people, are as well. There is no justice. There is no mercy. Everything is utterly painfully screwed, and it is all, all of it, your fault. So we fast forward. One week later, the people are back at the racetrack. Racetrack is bustling. Getting ready, and the announcer says, The third race, starting soon! And we see Cherry Blossom there. And she's standing next to Terry. She says... Hey, Terry, it's time. Go ahead and do it. And then, and you look over and it's Pepsi Cola Man, and Terry injects Pepsi Cola Man. And he goes, <laughs> and then you just you see, his, you see his leg kick out, and then it just it hits Cherry Blossom in the head. She goes, ah! <laughs> That's her epilogue. Uh, I'm not. I'm not on my A game tonight. I'll admit to that. Uh, that, was, that was good. That's good. Okay, Slippy's turn. Got four white. I. Sorry, I was. There we go. Oh. I can't tell if I'm if I'm actually. It's tough. I think that's still four white. Oh. Okay. You just there, keep rolling my dice. I I don't think I was rolling all of them. Um, that's twelve. White, six black, so six, six white. Yep. Weak. Hey, you're busted, beat, and broke down, but at least you've learned a lesson about human greed and frailty, right? It'll serve you well in prison, which is where you are probably headed. So what, what does that epilogue mean to you? Uh, well, I think we uh, flash forward and um, Slippy is... Uh, Sitting behind jo uh, bars in jail. I, it'll be like later that night, like he wakes up from his heroin stupor and mm -hmm. he goes, uh, 10 days later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eh, eh, what, what happened here? And he looks up and he sees a uh, Wado in a police uniform standing before the bars. Mm -hmm. He goes, uh, what, Wado? What, what am I doing here? Why, why are you dressed like that? And Wado says, I've been undercover for years. Trying to get you. Trying to get the entire you know, criminal operation. I thought I got like, a Schwarzenegger now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, he got lots of evidence against you. You're going away for a long time. Ah, 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 ah. And he laughs. And Slippy just goes, oi, oi, oi. Oh, boy. Um. The end. <laughs> Thug goes in the cell with him. Oh, boy. 
All right. It is now Patty's turn. And that is a... You know, I, I, I think I'm selecting all of them. One second. There we go. That is a four white. Bitter. You know what it's like to be utterly crushed, casually brought low, forced to eat your own words, and stand mute and powerless before your enemies. They gloat, and you are helpless. So uh, what's the ending for Patty? Uh, I'm just going to say... is that That's essentially like back where he started. Yeah, in a way. So I was going to say it just fades to Patty walking up to a, a bookie who's almost exactly Slippy Snakeman, but just <laughs> looks different. Mm -hmm. He just places another bet and then just walks over to the race. And then it's like you hear in the distance and they're off as it like does a slow zoom into his face, like watching and hoping. Oh, I like that. Like he's like completely depressed until the race starts. And then he's like, yeah, getting, that getting yeah. Wow. There we go, folks. That's horse fever. Um, I don't know. I feel like nothing against the game or you guys, but for some reason I couldn't get in the right mindset. Yeah, I was like trying to pull it one way and then I don't yeah know if it was the setting or what yeah like, i don't know what about you jimmy i thought it was good yeah, yeah i, think I mean i think you, <laughs> i think you guys always do a much better job than i do <laughs> no you do great um, you do great um i think i was fishing um, I feel like we, we try to ride the line of not interrupting scenes but i think we need to do it yeah. Because I feel like that very first one we did on the cruise ship, we were constantly being like, oh, waiter here, or oh, I'm the Oh, home. yeah, yeah. Like, I think that adds another layer, but this time we were too busy trying to play our same characters. Yeah, that's true. There were not enough extra characters. I, I was just struggling to think of scenes and plot points and plot yeah. elements. I was really struggling with that. But, um... I still love this game. This game's so good. <laughs> um, and the best part is Fiasco. There are literally like dozens and dozens of play sets and we've only done five so there's there's always good ones for us i heard uh there's a fiasco podcast i listen to where every month they do an episode where they just play fiasco they did a play set recently that i do not want to do but it kind of blew my mind the play set is fiasco as in the whole play set is your characters are playing a game of fiasco uh and they somehow <laughs> pulled it off it, they pulled it off pretty well it was pretty crazy um but yeah thank you guys so much for joining um i'm ian gibson you can find me on twitter at hunt 270 jimmy special guest always a pleasure to have you where can people find you uh at jommy jones on twitter <laughs> uh and will uh thanks for being here where can people find you uh you can find me on twitter at think gibson Okay, thank you. Uh, and you can find more Subpixel content at subpixelfilms.com. We've got uh, documentaries. We've got short feature pieces. We've got all of our stream archives. We've got Will's uh, RimWorld and Dwarf Fortress videos. We've got all sorts of stuff for you. Uh, you can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitch at Subpixel Team. Uh, I highly recommend following us on Twitter. That's where we post all of our stream stuff before it goes live, teasing what's coming up, new projects, etc., things like that. We hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please uh, think about following us or subscribing to us on Twitch. Or if you're watching the archive on YouTube, giving us a thumbs up, a like, a follow, a heart, a bell. Do whatever you can to let the big boy algorithm know that now that Donald Trump and his meanies are off the platform, you should be watching our stuff instead. Thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.